what's going on? It's your man Lecrae. Right now, you're checking out Hip Hop Wide, my man Blue. HipHopWide.com, chilling with hip hop artist Lecrae. What's happening with you, bro? What's good, man? Everything is gravy, man. Just got finished listening to the project. For those who don't know, tell them about rehab as well as the overdose. Um, well, yeah, rehab is like it's like a series. It's like a whole story, a body of work. So, rehab is like me just articulating to the world that um, you know we all broken. We all got something going on and wrong with us, and we need rehabilitation. We all addicted to something, and so it's just acknowledging that and seeing what the rehabilitation process look like. And then overdose is like saying, okay, you know, I found rehab. I, I'm 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 a better person. You know what I'm saying? I, I found truth. And I need more of it, so I need to overdose on it. And so that's really, um, you know, rehab is a little more eclectic, and then overdose is just, they just give it to you raw and real. Okay. You are a Christian hip hop artist. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of times that moniker, people look at that moniker and they think they think one thing, and only right. people see you as another. My man got his J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's almost like your music is not preaching to you, it's yeah. real music. Yeah. It's like it's just sometimes the religious aspects of your faith you put into the music, but it's a real hip hop album. I think a lot of times when people say Christian hip hop, it automatically put a red flag. But let's talk about you and specifically, man. Your music is actually for any brother on the corner. They could really vibe to it and listen to it. You could put it in your in your CD changer, whatever, with Jay Z, with a Nas, with a Tupac, with a Tyler Kweli, a Bun B, or whoever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you ain't moving keys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You move, you moving keys for Jesus. <laughs> aspect. I'm not trying to be make ridicule that whatsoever. Yeah. It's funny, but it's just a message to the music. Right. I mean, I, I put it like this, man. I'm authentically hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I'm a part of the culture. It's what I know. It's 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 what I was raised in. But I'm authentically Christian, and so it's my faith, and I and I'm not gonna shy away from that. That's like me trying to say I'm not black. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I'm say I'm not Christian or try to hide that, it's you gonna tell. You are gonna be able to tell. You know you are gonna be able to tell by the way I live. You are gonna be able to tell by by who I am. So it's gonna bleed through the music. And um, and so what my music is 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 just me articulating that. You know, it's not like. You know, let me see how many times I can say Jesus in a song Or let me give you 20 Bible verses Or, you know, let me condemn you and tell you you need to stop But it's really just, man, let's talk about what's going on in real life Let's talk about, you know, how devastating it was in Haiti And how I feel about it And let's talk about God's perspective Let's talk about, you know, how I didn't grow up with my father And I'm trying to figure out what it means to be a man and how God helped me through that situation, you know. So that's that's the, that's the reality of what I'm talking about, um, you know. And, and so I think a lot of people when they hear Christian, they kind ah man, because 90 percent of, of of Christians who did rap in the past was terrible. I mean, just be honest with it. Is the music wasn't good, but but I think I respect the art form and I respect the craft. And I think if you love hip hop, you'll respect what I'm doing as well. So, so to me, when you listen to the music. It's almost like a, everybody got an angel and a devil on their shoulder. Yeah. You chose to go to angel. <laughs> when I say the angel, God, it's not like it's goody goody. You really walk the streets at one point in your oh, yeah. life too. Let's talk about that and what was it that made you make your whole change around it? This is what the aspect you were going to talk about. I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't grow up in church, so it's not like I'm like that kid that was like, oh man, I want to be a rapper, but I gotta wear my shiny shoes and stuff like. You know, it was like. I didn't know I didn't, Church was a foreign concept to me You know I knew about it But it was like That's what that's what grandma did That's not what That wasn't my thing And so um, You know for me The way I grew up I grew up idolizing my uncles Who was running the streets heavy Selling drugs Gang banging So on and so forth So those are the dudes Those are my role models Those are the dudes That I wanted to be like So that's the I thought being a man Meant being like them You know what I'm saying And so um, When I When I you know, saw individuals who looked like me, who dressed like me. I was kind of like, okay, th these dudes are like me. But then when they, when I found out these dudes were Christian, it really kind of blew my mind. Like I had never seen nothing like that before. So I thought Christian meant grandma, sequins, and ties, and wingtips. But Christian is your faith. It's the it's the way you live and see the world. And it doesn't mean you you have to stop being who you are culturally or my personality changes. You know, I'm still me. And um. 
When I saw these dudes, I said, man, that's crazy that they can live like that. It's kind of like when, when, when you saw Malcolm X, the movie, or you saw like the Nation of Islam back in the day, you was like, yo, they moving like that's hard. Like, look how they together. And you just like, I didn't even know black dudes could do that. You know, and it was kind of, that's how I felt like. Man, look at these cats. Like they, they, they love Jesus, but they got on they, they J's and they, you know, Tims and, and um, and it made me interested. And as I, as I investigated, I began to see, man, like the facts line up. And then more than the facts lining up, my heart really was changed. And um, I said, man, this is, this is what I want to do. This is who I want to live for. Okay. And for those who don't know, some of hip hop's most dominating lyricists have actually giving you respect and shot at you out. Yeah. Bun B, you got a relationship with Malice, man. Let's talk about your relationship with oh, some yeah. of the more mainstream hip hop artists, but really respecting what you do. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, that's the thing for me is, is like, you before you criticize it, tell me, is the music not good? You know what I'm saying? Before you listen to, before, the, before you get on the message, is the music not good? Before you get on the Christian thing, but yeah, like, um, you know, I talked to Bun, and Bun, Bun just reached out, and he was like, man, I just want to let you know, just as an OG in the music, like, like I appreciate what you do. Like, I appreciate your craft, your skill set, you know, and how you're not trying too hard. You just being who you are and letting that come out. And, and um, you know, he said, you know, it's my responsibility as an older MC to let young cats know, like, yo, I, like, I'm feeling it. And and he just reached out and did that. And so that meant a lot. I grew up on UGK, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pimp C, Bun B, you know, I grew up on that. So just to have somebody like that come and say, man, I appreciate what you do is crazy. Me and Malice, you know, we chopped it up on the phone. You know, we talk on the phone every so often. And um, you just, just, you know, even him, like, man, I appreciate who you are, what you do, you know, um, just an encouragement, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've run into Lupe. You know, Lupe then told other cats to go grab my my music. You know what I'm saying? Um, some cat just told me the other day he was working on Ludacris' house. Like, at, um, his electrician was working on his house, and he was like, "I love you, Luda, but I wish you did more positive stuff." And you know, apparently, Luda was like, "Maybe you should listen to Lecrae." You know, I don't know how he meant that, but you know, for me, it's like. You know, it to me it just says that there's a place for me. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a place for cats like myself um, within hip hop. Hey, what's going on? It's your man Lecrae. Right now you're checking out Hip Hop Wide, my man Blue. And uh, make sure check me out, ReachRecords.com, Twitter.com backslash Lecrae.